if you listen closely to what uh, Majority Leader McConnell says, he actually contradicts himself because he says, well, there's not much appetite in my caucus for tariffs. At the same time, we're hoping that the people talking to the Trump administration from Mexico right now, we're hoping they want to strike a deal so we can avoid tariffs and the talks seem to be going well. Doesn't that literally tell us that President Trump's strategy of threatening these tariffs and being willing to go through with them if Mexico doesn't comply, that it's working? Yeah, what, what Senator McConnell should be saying is thank you, President Trump, for finally getting Mexico to the table to address the crisis at the border, which my Senate Republicans haven't done anything about for years, despite having unified control of the government for two straight years. Uh, let's be clear about why Trump is having to do this. It's because Congress has had years to make itself useful on this issue and has done approximately nothing. And so we're at a situation now where Trump is the first and last line of defense on the border. Whether or not people are happy about it is, is irrelevant because they haven't stepped into the gap. And so Trump is using the leverage he has, which is our trade relationship, to force Mexico to the table. And to your point, it's working. 24 hours after he threatened tariffs, Mexico showed up and is starting to talk about potentially signing deals that they have been avoiding for decades. Uh, so I think Senate Republicans actually owe Trump a thank you for doing their job for them. Right, because they have neglected to do their own job. So this solution is not difficult. This solution, what Mexico needs to do to do their part to secure the border. I mean, you had a great article about this, but uh, here, I want to talk about a couple of the provisions that if Mexico did, we would not be suffering from the immigration crisis that we are now. The first thing is in regards to just securing their own border. Their border, be the Mexican-Guatemalan border, is essentially unguarded. It's very easy for migrants to come across that border. If Mexico secured their own borders, that would block the flow of uh, migrants that come from Guatemala and other countries through Mexico to the United States. Yeah, that's right. We're dealing with an overwhelming flow of Central American migrants, and Guatemala is one of the chief uh, feeders of that. And so one of the things that the Trump administration has asked Mexico to do is simply secure its border uh, with Guatemala. And the border is 500 miles long. Uh, for context, our border with Mexico is about 2,000 miles long. So it's a pretty easy border to secure. I'm sure we'd be happy to help them do it, but they actually have to want to do it and take the lead. And so that's the first request uh, that the Trump administration is making. Right. And the, uh, the Trump administration also, and this is uh, rightfully so, is also pressuring Mexico to reform their asylum laws because the, the international laws that govern asylum essentially dictate that as soon as you leave the country where your life is threatened by the government, and that is the definition of asylum, you seek refuge in the first safe country where you can find safe passage. This is not what we're seeing from these Central American migrants because they don't seek refuge. They don't seek asylum in Mexico even when when Mexico offers it to them, they decline it and come to the United States because that's where they prefer to be.